Hello, live love readers. Today we're going to be finishing up Magic Tree House Fact Tracker Dolphins and Sharks by Mary Pope Osborne and Natalie Pope Boyce. Chapter 6 Books and movies often tell stories about sharks attacking people. Sometimes people are even afraid to swim in the ocean. How afraid should they be? How often do sharks actually attack people? The truth is, not very often. All over the world, millions of people swim in the ocean every day, and yet sharks attack very few people. You are more likely to be hit on the head by a coconut or stepped on by an elephant than to be attacked by a shark. When sharks attack people, it is usually because they're confused. In fact, sharks are actually shy creatures. Scientists think they mistake humans for sea lions or other marine animals that make up their diet. Sometimes, sharks attack swimmers or surfers. This is because they are attracting, or attracted to the splashing they hear or to the movement they see, not to the people. These sharks have come close to shore looking for food. They think people in the water are struggling fish. Spear fishermen have also been attacked by sharks. Sharks are attracted to blood from the speared fish. Most fishermen take extra precautions. They carry a special sealed bag to put fish in so sharks won't swim their way in search of a meal. Shark protection. Swimmers can protect themselves from shark attacks. There are many sharks off the beaches of Australia and South Africa. When sharks attacks became a problem, nets were put up to protect swimmers. Since then, there have been no further shark attacks. Some divers have experimented with diving suits made of metal to protect themselves from sharks. These might protect against smaller sharks, but they do not work well against large ones. Larger sharks can bite right through the metal. Hmm. Here are some ways you can protect yourself when you're swimming with or without sharks. Swim in groups. Avoid swimming at dusk or during the night. Many sharks are most active at night. Stay away from sandbars. Sharks sometimes lurk around sandbars looking for fish. If you see a fin moving back and forth, get out of the water. When you're racing to get out, don't splash. Great white shark. Length up to 21 feet. Weight up to 7,000 pounds. Meet the most feared shark in the ocean. This is the shark in the movie Jaws. The great white is huge. But that's not all that's great about the great white. It has, it can have 3,000 teeth. Wow. Great whites rarely attack humans, but they do eat fish, sea lions, seals, otters, and sea turtles. Sometimes, after a big meal, they don't eat for another two months. Tiger shark. Length. 10 to 20 feet, weight over 2,000 pounds. Tiger sharks get their name because they have stripes down their back. However, they are dark gray, not tan like tigers. These big sharks are sometimes called the garbage cans of the ocean because of all the garbage they eat. It seems they'll eat just about anything, but when they eat too much garbage, they throw up. Great Hammerhead Shark Length up to 20 feet, weight up to 1,000 pounds. Great hammerhead sharks get their name because their heads are shaped just like hammers. As they swim, they swing their head from side to side looking for prey. They might look odd, but having their eyes so far apart helps them see very well. Their heads also help them turn quickly while swimming, like the rudder of a boat. Great hammerheads sometimes attack humans. But stingrays are their favorite food. Bull shark. Length up to 11 feet. Weight up to 500 pounds. Bull sharks' faces look a little bit like those of bulls. Their snouts are wider than they are long, and their bodies look almost chubby. Bull sharks don't swim as fast as many other sharks, and they can breathe while they rest. They are different from most sharks because they live in both fresh and salt water. They live in the Gauzes Amazon and the Zambezi Rivers and Lake Nicaragua. They've even been found 100 miles up the Mississippi River. 
Bull sharks are aggressive and attack people more often than many other sharks. Some scientists call them the most dangerous shark in the world. Mako shark, five to 12 feet, up to a thousand pounds. Because of their sleek body, scientists call Makos the perfect sharks. Their bodies are deep blue and silver and built for speed and grace. Unlike other sharks, the Mako can jump high out of the water. Mako swim at the surface of the water and is deep as 1,200 feet. Some scientists think they are the fastest sharks around. They can travel up to 60 miles an hour for short distances. Chapter 7, Saving Dolphins and Sharks. Dolphins and sharks have been swimming in oceans for millions of years, but today they face great fears. Every year, over 3,000 dolphins die when they are trapped in huge fishing nets. Some dolphins are hurt when they try to get out of the nets. Others are killed to prevent them from eating fish that fishermen want to catch. Thousands of other dolphins are killed for food or sport. Every year, 30 to 100 million sharks are killed by nets or for food or for sport. Many are killed for their fins alone. And this is shark fin soup in popular, you know, Asian cultures. Like dolphins, others die, others die when fishermen shoot them as they try to eat fish near the fishing boats. Ocean Problems the ocean habitat of dolphins and sharks is also in danger. Scientists think that noise from boats may interfere with echolocation. They worry that pollution, garbage, climate changes, and too much fishing, fishing are affecting life in the ocean. When bad things happen in the ocean, all marine animals are in danger. Research. Scientists are researching dolphins and sharks in order to help them. They use photographs to track dolphins, movements in the water, they track sharks by inserting special tags in their skin, by counting the number of sharks and dolphins living in the ocean, and by learning about their ocean habitat, scientists learn how changes in the ocean affect dolphins and sharks. Conservation. Scientists and volunteers are also joining together to protect dolphins and sharks. This is called conservation. Conservation means to keep things from harm. Conservation groups are trying to get laws passed to stop too much fishing with huge nets. They are trying to stop the pollution of oceans by chemicals and garbage. Conservationists know that a healthy ocean is necessary for all marine animals. What can you do? One, you can help by not leaving garbage at the beach. Two, you can ask your parents to buy tuna fish that is labeled dolphin free. Three, you can help recycle and not be wasteful. Four, you and your family can support groups that help marine animals. Five, your class can write letters asking lawmakers to pass laws that protect the ocean and its creatures. With your help, sharks and dolphins can live long lives in their wondrous ocean home. The more you learn about nature, the better it is for you and all the sharks and dolphins of the world. The end.